Hello everyone, welcome to StudyTube. Today, we will start our virtual digital electronics lab. In this pandemic situation, physical lab is not possible. First, we will see which equipments are used in the physical lab. Digital trainer kit. This is the kit which we used for the digital lab. We need variety of ICs and wires for making the circuit. In the digital trainer kit, there is breadboard. In the breadboard, we put the IC and then make the circuit. There is input panel from where we can give input and there is output panel where we check the output of the experiment. This trainer kit needs electricity to operate. Now we need to replace this trainer kit by online or virtual lab. This is the simulator we will use for the virtual lab. Here in the middle there is IC base. We will put the IC in the IC base. So it replaces the breadboard. In the downward side there is input section that replaces the input panel and in the upward side there is output section that replaces the output panel. So this simulator replaces the digital trainer kit. Now we will know about IC base. This is the IC base. Every IC has some pins. In digital electronics lab we use ICs of 14 pins and by the pin configuration we connect the input and output panel. So every pin of the IC should be identified. That's why pin number has been given. Here we can see a notch in the upward side. If the notch in the upward side then pin number of the IC start from left side and it goes to downward side. Then again it started from right side but this time it goes from down to upward side. This IC base has 20 pins. 1 to 10 in the left side and 11 to 20 in the right side. Now if we place a 14 pins IC in the IC base it will look like this. Here 8, 9, 10 pin in the left side and 11, 12, 13 pin in the right side is unused. For 14 pins IC, 1 to 7 pin is in the left side and 8 to 14 pin is in the right side. Here pin number 14 will be pin number 8, pin number 15 will be pin number 9 and like that it will end at 14. So only used pin we have to take. Now the question is how to use this simulator. Registration. First of all we have to register ourselves in the simulator website. Link of the simulator is given in the description. You have to open the link. This is a simulator of Dell Sim. In the right side, there is login or register option. You have to click on this. After clicking, there is two options, login or register. You have to go to register and put your email ID, then create a password and give your name institution name and your department. Then click on I am not a robot and check the box to accept conditions. Then click on register. Now the registration process is complete. Placing the IC. Now you have to know how to place the IC on the IC base. For experiments, you have to take IC. 
there is add IC option. So you have to click on add IC. After clicking on add IC, this simulator gives you instruction to select the IC base where you want to put that IC. There is 5 IC base. So you have to choose any IC base. I choose here IC base 2. After clicking on IC base 2, this select IC tab will come. Now from here you have to choose the IC according to your experiment. I am here choosing the first one by simply clicking the first one. Then I have to click on add IC option. So after clicking on add IC option, IC has been placed in the IC base 2. Making the connection. Now we have to connect input and output. In the input section, there is two part. One is switch and one is LED where you need to connect the wires. There is 16 different input from where you can take any of the input. In the output section, there is only LED and you have to connect the wires in the LED. Connection between two points is made by the wires. For connecting, you need to click on one of the two points, then hold and drag it to the other point. Then you have to release the mouse in that point for making the connection. Suppose pin number 1 is the input pin. So I have to connect it with one of the input. For connecting, you need to click on pin 1. Then hold and drag it to the input LED where you want to connect. Then you release the mouse in input LED point to make the connection. You can connect by the reverse process as well. Delete any connection. If you have made any mistake during the circuit connection, you can rectify it by deleting it. For removing the IC, you have to click on remove IC option. Then you have to select IC base from which you want to remove the IC. As there is only one IC, so I select IC base 2 and the IC is removed. For removing any wires, you have to click on remove connection option. Then you have to select the wire which you want to remove. So I am selecting the green wire and after selecting wire is removed. There is also reset circuit option to reset the full circuit. Saving the circuit. You have to save the circuit for future use. For saving the circuit, you have to click on save circuit option. After clicking, you have to put the name by which you want to save the circuit. Then click the save option. So it will be saved. Now you can reload the browser or next time when you will log in, you can see saved circuit option where you can get your circuit for the reuse. Power on the circuit. For doing the experiments, you have to power on the circuit. There is power button in the right side. You have to click on the button to on and off the power. But remember, after you power on the circuit, you can't make any changes to the circuit. For making any changes, you have to power off the circuit. By this process, you have to use this simulator. So, I hope in this video, you have learned how to use this simulator for the virtual lab. If you like this video, then click the like button and share with your friends. For more this type of content, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for get the notification of the next video. 
Stay updated with StudyTube.